Today, I'd like to share with you how to repair a monitor. The screen is blank. It doesn't show anything. At the beginning, it takes like one minute to warm up and then five minutes and then forever. Now it's all blank. I have threw away five this kind of monitor last year. This year, I decide I want to fix it. It's not that difficult to fix. Let me show you how to fix LCD monitor. The first problem is how to open the back cover. You really have to use the force to open it. You see, it doesn't have any screws. You really have to pry this open. Just use the brutal force to pry this open. So the, it's really difficult to pry this open. You see, this is a very small gap. You really have to jam this. I'm doing this. See, this side I'm almost open. I have to use the brute force. It's really hard. I use the screwdriver. There's some dent here, but nobody is going to notice. And then you can lift this, remove the back cover. So once you pass the first very difficult job to open it, the next task is identify the problem. You'll notice there are some circuit board here and there's an enclosure. This enclosure, you need to take the screw and open this. So this is a power supply. So that usually is where the problem is. There are a few capacitors. See, those are capacitors. This is a good one. You see how flat it is and get a closer zone here. And this is a bad one. See, there's a little bit upward. It's no longer flat. So this is no longer flat. And this is a good one because the flat is very nice. You see, there's a little bit gooey stuff on the top. And this also is not a flat, no longer flat. See, this is not flat. And this is also has a problem. So those two are potential problem. We are going to replace those two. So to take the capacitor off, you need to flip the circuit board and use the iron to heat this and take this uh, capacitor out. To replace a capacitor, you need to pay attention. One is which one's the negative. The one with the stripe, this is the negative side. The second is the number. On the old one, is printed 1000 microfarad, 16 volts. In terms of voltage, as long as your new capacitor is higher than 16, then it's fine. Usually you should have an exact match. If it's 1000, you need to just find a 1000 or you have to find exact. So if you have a small one, you can have a two of them in parallel to make it a bigger one. You have a two of them. If you have a very big one, you do not need a two of them to connect in serial. You can just use a bigger one. In this case, a smaller one's cheaper. That's why the designer chose a smaller one for this particular circuit. So to take the capacitor off, you need to flip the circuit board and use the iron to heat this and take this uh, capacitor out. Make sure you wear a goggle. Okay, so soldering uses heat to connect the leg to the circuit board okay so they are connected so now the new capacitor is attached to the circuit board correct the bolts are in place and i need to give it a try i'm not going to close this a hundred percent i just want to try it make the connection Now it's working. 